wonderful people welcome to my channel once again this lesson is dedicated to teaching you how to create arrays within javascript an array are just ways in which you can store multiple values or multiple items within a single variable so i want to create an array and then i can store the list of fruits that i love so much maybe my favorite fruit i can store them within a single variable so if i use a let keyword to create a variable called fruit i can go ahead and then create a variable to create sorry to create an array you have to use a square bracket remember when we're doing python list we use similar method to create a list but in javascript we are going to call this one array instead of list you can also create an array by using new new array but in this case you have to use the parentheses but we are not going to use parentheses in this case i prefer going with a square bracket okay so what are the list of fruits that i'm going to create i'm going i'll go ahead and say maybe orange separate it comma then i also have banana banana separate with comma i can add some few more fruits i think kiwi is also a fruit right i have kiwi there i think apple will be good enough for me and what other fruits should i put over there i think i'm also going to add okay let me add the last one which will be maybe pear right i think this is the end of pear so this is a list of fruits i will add to my variable that i created does fruits how do i print this out i can easily go ahead and say document dot write and then i can call my entire Irie. let me load the page and see what we printed out so far so you notice we've printed out the entire fruit over here you can see for yourself we've printed out the entire entire fruits we can print individual fruits from this list as well by targeting them using their index so orange is at index zero banana index two kiwi index three sorry kiwi in this two apple in this three pair at index what four so we can target them since we now know their index so assuming i want to print orange from this list i have to use the square bracket and then put in zero which is at index zero i'll go back around this code i'll have only orange printed on my screen that's so amazing we can go ahead and also use a loop to run this particular array and print them out one by one so let's do that and then we'll look at ways in which we can delete item from a, an array also assign items to an array give an item put in a different item okay so let me go uh, go back here and then instead of printing this i can say I want to run a loop below this and then if you don't know what loop are you can watch my previous lessons on loop creating loops within python and then you have some fair knowledge about it i want to create a for loop to run through or to loop through my iri with a for loop i can say let's i so the i is a new variable i'm creating i want this to start at zero and this I will present every individual item I have or every individual fruit I have within my iris so I can go ahead and say I should be less than fruit dot length if I use this what I mean is that 
I want to check the length I have within my array so I'll go ahead and increment this so if I do this I can go ahead and then run a block of code if this condition is true let me cut this code and put it inside my loop okay so in this case I can print maybe my favorite fruit and then I'll target it remember this I is representing every individual fruit I have within my array so I can put I over here and let me come here put in quotation mark and then I'll use the plus key to concatenate it so print this uh, print this in addition to the string that I'm going to type so I can before that I want to put a break statement a break statement I'll see my favorite my favorite my favorite fruit is so look at what is going to happen if I run this code it's going to loop through this array and then print every fruit for me one by one so let me go and run this code and see what I've achieved you can see so amazing so my favorite fruit is orange my favorite fruit is banana my favorite fruit is kiwi my favorite fruit is apple my favorite fruit is pair so you can see we were able to loop through this so nicely using the loop so a loop will always run when a condition is very is true we can delete a value from a loop how do we delete pair from this list or from the loop we've, from the array we've created i can't before i even print the loop statement i can just put a same code a different code over here and say fruit fruit dot pop so fruit dot pop this simple statement is going to delete the last item from the list so let's run this and see if we're going to have you notice that a pair is gone so even before we run our loop we managed to delete the last item from our loop so the loop will easily check and see that the condition should be true before the loop runs already an item has been deleted from the iris but we can also delete the first item from the array by using the shift keyword so why uh, how do we do that i can just duplicate this code down here and use a shift keyword so this shift will delete the first item from our list if i run this code the first items will rather be deleted so you notice that we will not be having orange so orange will be gone in that order so we can use loop to do so many different things you can create an array and then we can loop through set a condition while the condition is true this code will continue you need to subscribe to this channel in order to enjoy all the amazing stuff we have for you and don't forget to turn on the notification bell get alert anytime we upload new video okay so i think we've learned so much in creating an array and then looping through that array we can easily use it to create a very powerful calculators we'll be learning if statement and other things in our subsequent lesson so thank you so much for watching this particular video remember you need to subscribe and then enjoy a lot from us bye